guys, this is Renato Filizola and in today's video I'm going to show you how to add a hard disk to your Linux server using Oracle VirtualBox. After that, I will create a partition and I'm going to create an XFS file system on that disk. I have my Red Hat 8 server here, which I'm going to log in remotely using my terminal. So I'm going to use SSH, my root account at in the IP address of my server, which is 192.168.0.222. And I have to enter my password. So the first thing I have to do is I'm going to check uh, the disks I have in this server so I can read the file partitions, which is in slash proc slash partitions. And looking at this file, I can see that I only have one disk. That is my SDA disk. SDA means that this is my entire disk and SDA1 means that is my first partition of my SDA disk and SDA2 that means this is the second partition of the SDA disk. I'm gonna shut, I'm gonna shut down this server because I'm going to add a new disk and we'll check later on. Let me shut down. Okay. I'm going to minimize. I'm working on this one here, Red Hat 8 server. To add a new disk, I'm going to right click on it. And we have to go to settings. Select storage. And then select controller. And here I can add a new storage attachment. So I'm going to click here and I have to select hard disk. I'm going to create a disk. Uh, I'll keep the default option VDI and dynamically, dynamically allocate it. And I will use a 10 gigabytes disk create. Okay, I have to choose my disk. I have my Red Hat server VDI with 10 gigabytes. Click choose. And I'm going to click OK. Now I can start my disk, start my virtual machine, my server. And it's going to boot up the Red Hat 8 server. I'm going to open my terminal. I'm going to clear the screen. And I will check if I can access remotely again. Yes, I can. It's asking for password. OK, I'm going to enter the root password. And I will check my proc partitions file again. Now we have this SDB. So SDB means that is my second disk on this server. So my first disk is SDA and this is my second disk SDB. My SDB, it doesn't have any partition. So I'm going to tell you again. SDA is my first part, first disk, my entire disk, and SDA1 is the first partition of SDA, and so on. Same thing for SDA2. But I don't have any partition for SDB, which I will create right now. Using the FDS command, slash dev, slash SDB. And I mean the fdisk terminal. I can hit M for help and what I need is I need to add a new partition which is I have to select the letter N and it's asking if I if my disk is uh, if the partition type will be primary or extended I will keep the default primary and partition number, it could be from 1 to 4. 
I'll keep one. First sector, it always starts in 2048. I'll keep the same. And last sector, uh, I will just hit enter. That means I'm going to use the entire disk for my partition. OK, and then I can hit M again just to see the options. And I have to save and exit, which is the W option because I have to write table to disk and exit. So I'm going to hit W to save uh, my setup. And there we go. I will check again my proc partitions. And now we can see that I have created my first partition for my disk SDB. OK, so I'm going to mount. I have to mount my physical drive, my physical disk to any directory. So I have to create first the directory. Let me see. Uh, MK there and I'll see uh, disk one. OK. And now I have to create the file system. I'm going to use mkfs dot. I can hit tab and I'm going to use the default for my Red Hat, which is dot xfs. This is the file system. We, we could also use uh, mkfs x4 or x3, x2 whatever. I'm going to use XFS. So I'm going to check XFS. And then I need to say, I need to specify the disk, which is SDB and my partition. Okay, it looks good. Uh, I just created a file system in that disk. Now I have to mount my physical disk, which is slash dev slash sdb1, and I have to mount in a specific uh, directory, which I'm, which I'm going to use disk1. OK, uh, it didn't show any error message. So how do I know if the partition is mounted? Uh, we can use this command, just mount, and we can see here that my slash dev slash sdb is mounted on slash disk one using the file type the file system xfs there is another command that we can check df dash h t and i can see that my disk is here the file system, the size of my disk, how many megabytes is used. So available, I have 9.9 .9 gigabytes. That means 2% of my disk. And this is the mounted uh, directory, which is slash disk one. If I do this and if I restart my computer, it won't mount automatically. To do that, I have to mount in the FS tab file. But first, I need to check what is the ID for my partition. So there is a command blkid. I'm going to use it. I'm going to clear the screen and I'm going to repeat the command blkid. And I can see uh, that my slash dev slash sdb1 uid is this one here so i need to copy that i'm gonna copy and i have to use the editor in the fs tab file so vi space slash etc slash fs tab enter i'm gonna create 
a new line, a new entry, and I can create a comment here, uh, mounted point for my SDB1 disk or for my slash dev slash SDB1 disk. I think this way is better. And this is just a comment. Okay. And now I can copy the UID. We don't need this. It's just UID equals and the UID space uh, the disk, the mounted point, which is slash disk one and the file system xfs i'm going to use the default default option and i'm going to use zero and zero i'm going to save and i will amount my disk uh, amount slash dev slash sdb1 Okay, I'm going to use the mount command again. It's not mounted anymore. I only have slash dev slash sda1, not sdb anymore because I unmounted. I'm going to clear the screen and I'm going to use the mount dash a command to read the fs tab file. Okay, didn't show any error message. So now I can check it again with mount. And there we go. We have the slash dev slash sdb1 on disk one and the file type is xfs. That means if my file, if my disk is mounted, I'm gonna clear this, I'm gonna check again my fs tab. If my file, if my disk is mounted in my etc fs tab that means if i restart the computer uh, if i restart the server it will read any instruction or any entry in slash etc slash fs tab that means it's working and if i restart the computer or shut down it will mount the disk automatically in uh, my slash disk one partition and I can also check again slash uh, sorry df dash uh, ht and there we go this is the file so how can I use the file how can I use the disk I can go to slash disk ls-l there's nothing here it's an empty disk and I can create any file let's say file 1 and file 2 and I can create a directory my directory and I'm gonna check now with ls-l this is my file 1 file 2 and this is my directory which is in the slash disk one and actually slash disk one is using the hardware the disk i have added to my server okay guys that's all i i hope you guys like this video uh, please give us a comment and subscribe to my channel thank you so much and see you later